Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have another collaboration video for you guys today. I was asked to be a part of this DIY collaboration from Boxes and Deals. I believe she is the one that has been running everything and it's been really a fun collaboration to be a part of because everybody is going to be doing a DIY project. I think that there will be giveaways from all channels. I'm not 100% sure, so you'd have to check out everybody's channels to find out. There are seven of us total in this collab. Lady Lori, Beauty Over 50, Boxes and Deals, me, Laura Wooten Unboxings, Single Mom Review, Chef Wannabe's Life, Katie's Corner of the World, Food, Makeup, Skin, and that's all of us. And there's some new people in here that I've just now got to meet and you guys will be introduced to them too. So it'll be really fun to see what everybody is going to be doing. If you saw the promotional video that Boxes and Deals made for us, it was really, really cute. And it kind of gave you like a sneak peek into what each person was going to be doing. I know there's going to be some wreaths, some fun DIY like art projects with decoupage. And there's going to be patriotic wreaths made and recipes. So we have a lot going on and I'm just really excited. The thing that I am bummed about is making it all the way to my mom's house because you can see I'm still in her background and forgetting to bring my other camera. So I did not get to film this video the way that I had originally hoped to be able to film it, but I still kind of made it work. So for my DIY project, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make New York style chocolate chip cookies. They are really big, delicious cookies. They're kind of crunchy and crisp on the outside and ooey gooey on the inside, just the way that I really love my cookies. And it kind of is a good mix for those who like crunchy or ooey gooey cookies. You know, you have a, a combination of the two. For this video, I actually pre-made all of the cookies and kind of filmed the process best I could with my iPhone. That's all I had to work with besides my laptop that I'm filming with here. For this cookie, the first thing that you need is the ingredients. So you're gonna need one bag of walnuts. I do show the size over here. And you'll need one bag of chocolate chips. I got semi-sweet, so you can do dark or you can do sweet, but with the walnuts, given the bitterness, semi-sweet to sweet is probably the best way to go. You are gonna need two sticks of butter cube you need to cube that butter and it has to be cold and it has to stay cold i know it's weird there's some weird things with this chocolate chip cookie recipe they're unlike normal chocolate chip cookie recipes so just stay with me here we'll get through it together so those two sticks of butter need to stay cold when you cube them they have to stay cold and then you'll need three-fourths cup sugar three-fourths cup brown sugar, one and one-third cup of self-rising flour, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two large eggs beaten, you wanna have them pre-beaten, and one teaspoon of vanilla, which I just put my vanilla inside my beaten eggs. Another tip is to use fresh self-rising flour and fresh baking powder. If you use the older kind, it will affect the cookies in your baking. And in fact, I had kind of an older self-rising flour and I think it kind of slightly impacted my cookies. They still turned out good and I was still able to get some good footage for you guys of the cookies like made when they were whole. But I've only made these cookies a handful of times over the last year. And I've only ever made them at my mom's house. So I've just had the recipe. It's just hanging on her fridge because so, I make them when I come down here. For the process of these cookies, it's going to be different. Okay, it's gonna be very different than what you're used to with a chocolate chip cookie. Usually you mix and beat everything together and you wanna make sure it's all well combined and doughy and then, you know, it's we're not doing that. Okay, with this mixture, you wanna make sure that everything gets mixed together, but just mixed together. It's not overly beaten. So you wanna start with your cubed butter. Now, <laughs> I didn't have a stand mixer because I'm at my mom, so I used her hand mixer, and that thing was way more powerful than I thought it was going to be. And it definitely creamed my butter too much, which also slightly affected my cookies. So you do not want to cream your butter. You just wanna kind of break up the cubes just a little bit. So I suggest if you do have a hand mixer, starting with the low function. 
you know, just lightly crumble it up. You, but you want it to crumble up, but you still want it to stay cold and you still want it to kind of look like chunky butter. You don't want it to look creamed, okay? Not like that. After the whole butter, I switched to a wooden spoon because you really don't need heavy mixing. So I combined both my sugars, the granulated sugar and the light brown sugar, combined them into with the butter and just combined them. Together, they should form like little butter nuggets or it should be crumbly, you can feel the butter, it should be coated in the sugar, but it should not be creamed. Next, you wanna add in the chocolate chips and the walnuts. Stir till combined. Next, you wanna add in the dry ingredients, and I just had all of my dry ingredients in the same bowl. Both flours, the baking soda, the baking powder, the salt, just, they were all in the same bowl, so I just, waffles. My mom's little weenie dog is barking <laughs> at all the stuff that's going on up front. <sighs> Sorry had to go get little waffles because she would not stop barking at the like through the window anyone who has a weenie dog you know exactly what i'm talking about right it's always the weenie dogs and they're right waffles you want to pour the flour mixture and all of the other dry ingredients in with the mixture and again you are just stirring until it's combined and it should be very powdery very fine not mixed together like really at all, like it's just combined. And you may be looking at it and being like, how am I gonna make little balls of cookies out of this? But we'll get there, okay, we'll get there. The next part is to add in the beaten eggs and the vanilla. And I have had to add an extra egg in the past, so it really just depends on how well your dough comes together. And you wanna stir the egg and the vanilla in with it until it's like, until it's combined, but it's still going to be a little loose it's not going to look like your traditional cookie dough okay that's normal then once you get that all mixed together you need to form the dough into balls you don't want to roll them into balls and you also don't want to overwork the dough so you just kind of want to put both your hands in there this is what i did i put both my hands in and like kind of cupped it together and then just pressed and sealed and it held its shape but if you pinched off a part of it then it went right back to being a powdery mixture. It was it's really crazy how it works, but that's how it goes. With this recipe, you should be able to make 12 equal or about equal size cookie dough balls. They're gonna be large, okay? They're gonna be like large cookie dough balls. They're gonna be pretty good size. Yep, and then here comes another strange part. After you have them, you need to place them into a pan, put cling fill over them to protect them, and then put them in the freezer. That's right, they have to go in the freezer. One of the best things about this recipe is that you can have cookies pre-made just waiting for you in the freezer and then you can heat them up if you just want one cookie that day or if you guys want two cookies, they'll already be made and in the freezer because that's where they can stay. With this cookie recipe, every time that I've made them, the cookies do not spread very much. They will spread out a little, but not very much. So what you're gonna need to do is get a cookie sheet, line it with parchment paper, and then I usually place maybe four or five to a cookie sheet. You wanna make sure there's enough space. And you need to place them in a 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Mine went to about 22 or 24 minutes in my mom's oven. And you wanna make sure that they are light golden brown. You don't want them to be too golden brown because they won't work right. But yeah, just a light golden brown. Like I said, mine did not spread out very much. They're supposed to spread out a little bit and mine did not spread out as much and it could be because of the butter being creamed when it wasn't supposed to be being creamed or because of the self-rising flour that I used that's a little old. But when they came out of the oven, I just gently pushed down the top and they went into their cookie shapes as you can see as you can see right over there. Like they're still like their perfect cookie shapes. And you let them cool for a little bit because you don't want them falling apart on you. You know, you gotta let them cool. And then you can finally break into these delicious cookies and they should be nice and crisp, crunchy like on the outside. But when you open it up, it should be ooey gooey, especially when they're warm, more soft and chewy on the inside. And it's just such a delicious cookie. Perfect for ice cream if you wanna put a scoop of ice cream on top. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a New York style chocolate chip cookie. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this cookie recipe. Hopefully it's something that you have never seen before or don't see often. I wanted to do something a little bit different than the traditional chocolate chip cookie recipe. This one's a little bit more out there, a little bit more DIY, which I think is really fun. And 
<laughs> Originally, I wasn't even going to do a chocolate chip cookie recipe. I was going to keep it kind of subscription box themed for my channel. And I've been working on this project since January to make kind of my own book box and kind of pick out the items that I want inside of it. So it's like my DIY book box. And I'm gonna have that coming out later. I couldn't finish it in time, and then I just really realized that I needed to have something that you guys could make at home, because that's the whole point of a DIY, is so that someone watching this video can create it at home. But anyways, I am really happy that I went with the cookie recipe. My kids are really happy with it because they had cookies for dessert for two nights in a row because it made 12 cookies and there's five of them. And Little Waffles didn't get to enjoy any of them. For this collaboration video, we're doing a giveaway, which we normally do with collaboration videos. And everybody's giveaway might be different and they might have different rules, so you need to make sure that you pay attention to that while you're watching the other videos in the collaboration. Also, there should be a playlist created and it should be in my description box. Also, I will try to pin it to my comments. So when you go to the comments, it should be the very first comment you see. But yes, for my giveaway, because I'm at my mom's, I don't have all my stuff, I'm probably just gonna do a gift card. Thinking I'm gonna do a $25 gift card. I don't know if it's gonna be to Walmart. So the winner can choose Walmart or Amazon or like one of them little Visa cards just a $25 gift card. That way, if you wanna go buy the ingredients to make this, you can, or if you wanna use it for something else, that's okay too. But for the rules of the giveaway, you need to be 18 years or older, you need to live within the United States, you need to be publicly subscribed to everybody in the collaboration. There's only seven of us, and as I mentioned, all of their information will be in the description box. And you need to use the code word cookie down in the comments below. And YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. Oh, and I, oh, when does the giveaway end? That's the only information that I don't have. I forgot to, I don't know when it ends. I'll have it listed in the description box for when it ends because I don't know if we have a set end date. I must have missed that information. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I really hope you enjoy watching everybody else in this collaboration video and getting to know some new friends if you're not familiar with some of the ones in this collaboration. I'll see you guys really soon. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I will check in with you really soon. Bye. Can you say bye, Waffles?